I'm Apollo Price, and I'm a professional League of Legends player. Four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. I grew up in Everett, Washington. Everett, it's like 30 minutes away from Seattle, kind of like just standard residential area. Medium-sized town, I would say. Kind of just normal kid. I played maybe too many video games. Like we kind of got into video games really early on, like you know N64, GameCube. We kind of got adjusted into computers at a really young age. And then I think with my brothers playing so much, it kind of like you know made me play a lot. Yeah, so I have two older brothers. So my middle brother's name is Marco, and my oldest brother's name is Tycho. My mom and dad, they named us after explorers. Apollo 11, my oldest brother Tycho is Tycho Brahe, and then Marco Polo. At the end of high school, I was playing a lot of Dota at the time. My brother and his friends, they, uh, they were playing League at the time, and they had this local tournament that was going on. So they needed an AD carry position, obviously. And my brother suggested me, and like, you know, I'm sure you know, my brother Apollo could play this game. He's like really good at Dota, which of course it was. <laughs> and uh, they, you know, they just wanted me to like try it out and like see how I would like it. I went to the tournament and we got second place. I think at the time of the tournament, I was either like gold or I got the platinum, something like that. It was the ELO system was kind of weird back then, but after that tournament, I was like kind of hooked. I was like, oh, well, I'm pretty good, so I'll keep going. <laughs> Uh, my dad uh, is a neurologist, and he had his he had a practice set up in Washington um, for pretty much the majority of my life. My mom was just stay at home because you know three guys, <laughs> three three boys, uh, and she you know she had to take care of us. My mom is from Japan. She immigrated here, which makes me first generation Japanese American. I guess we just had like a lot of Japanese influence, kind of through discipline and. I guess she made me have like a better work ethic. She was just like the main person that like kind of shaped my attitude or like my, just like my thinking. My dad actually was, he really loved having us like do activities and we, I grew up playing pretty much all different kinds of sports. We played a lot of golf when I was growing up, uh, me and my brothers, actually just our whole family but I really hated it, and it was just the worst experience. My dad's gonna see this too, but he probably he already, he already knows this. We didn't really have that much fun. I just wanted to play video games instead. This is my second year of college. I was still playing a lot, and Shifter, um, he was on Team Coast at the time. Uh, he messaged me asking if I wanted to try out for Team Coast. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> and I had to definitely skip classes a lot to do the tryouts. And I was super nervous. I was, it was me, Chaos, and I just performed better in scrims, so they went with me, which was awesome. I was super happy. I had to figure out a way to tell my mom because I knew she was not gonna let me do this. <laughs> I knew she wasn't gonna let me like you know drop out of college. My brothers kind of like helped me like talk with her to like convince her, and then even uh, the owner of the team, David, he called my mom to kind of like tell her what you know what this is and that it's not a scam <laughs> and I would be making money. Um, and that's eventually what convinced her. My dad was a lot more like easy with it. He was very you know, kind of follow your dreams. Like, he was just like, yeah, I mean, this is, seems like a really good opportunity. You should do it. And yeah, that was kind of the start. You can finally tell me how to pronounce your name because it seems like Alex Penn, Daydreaming, no one knows how to pronounce your name correctly. Okay, it's Wiz Fusion. So when I first joined, I was, yeah, I was Wiz Fusion. Just decided on that name. I think it was partially because my brother's name was like similar. I was playing on Team Coast. We didn't do very well. I was like doing okay at the start, but I think just, I mean, it was just bad back then. We eventually got relegated by complexity. And that loss really sucked. We are <laughs> in the tip house, okay. in case you didn't know. And so when it was summer, you know, Teams Rep Worlds, I eventually got like an offer from Team Impulse saying, you know, if we wanted you to play with Adrian and this was like Zhao Zhao, Rush, and Impact. When I joined Team Impulse, it was pretty exciting. I'd say since the roster itself was like really unique, 
this was like, I guess you call like first generation of like the Korean imports. So I had Impact, who was former world champion, um, Rush, who was Korean solo cube superstar, and then I was playing with Zhao Zhao, who was a mid laner from LMQ. It was just, yeah, it was just a really exciting roster, and then we were doing really well. I think I didn't really appreciate it too much at the time. I mean, coming from like Coast, where we didn't do well at all, and then, you know, I'm on a roster that's doing really well, and we eventually went to Madison Square Garden, which was an amazing experience. Family came out, and that was, it was just like a really cool experience, even though we lost to Team Liquid. Then, after Tim, you know, team disbanded, as usual, <laughs> is kind of standard back then. If you didn't do well, the team would shuffle. And then I joined Dignitas, and that was a really fun team. We were not good, we were really bad, but it was still a really fun team. Actually, it was probably one of my favorite teams to like even play on. And then after Dig, we got really, I got relegated and joined Apex. That was not fun. Probably one of the worst teams. Yeah, I'd say Apex it was just had like a lot of internal issues with the team members and coaching staff. It just wasn't like a cohesive team. And it kind of showed, you know, even though technically we didn't get relegated, it was just, it just wasn't like, just wasn't a good team. Yes, yeah, so and then after Apex, I got traded to Envy. That was also an interesting experience. We had a pretty bad split. We just didn't really work well with each other. I think we didn't really figure out ways to play well. At the time, we were kind of known for, or like notorious for, like really heavy early game pressure and just not knowing what to do after that. We'd like accumulate like huge advantages and then just shit the bed. <laughs> you can bleep that out. <laughs> so eventually we went to playoffs, we played against CLG. We barely lost to them. It was like five game series, but it was still much better than the spring split. <laughs> Hey guys, Aubley May with ESPN Esports, and today we are going to be playing some games with the nicest guy in the LCS, Apollo Price, AD Carry for Clutch. Apollo, how are you? I'm doing great. So during the franchising, me, Hako, and Lyra transferred to Clutch Gaming. We felt like, you know, we were a strong three core. We did all right on Clutch. We went to playoffs in Miami. At the end, you know, at the end of Spring Split, or in even summer, just things weren't working out. We just didn't feel like comfortable as a team, no cohesiveness. Towards the end, just didn't really work out. At the end of the day, all orgs want to find the best roster to win. And Clutch Gaming felt like, you know, us three uh, just weren't, you know, fit for the team and they wanted to build the team around Lyra. So they traded us to Echo Fox. Yeah, I didn't really have too much of a choice, but I wasn't mad about it. Just, you know, that's just the way things go. I enjoy just at least having players that I've worked with before and I you know I knew Solo, I knew Nick and obviously me and Nick have been playing for a while now so we kind of we already meshed pretty well and then I heard that Rush and Phoenix were joining and so I was really excited at least to work with them. I think all the players really have that drive. I'm really happy that the roster kind of fit together nicely and yeah it's been really great so far. I would say the highlight of my career was probably going to Madison Square. It was a huge event and also like my family was there as well. And it was pretty early on into my career, so that's what made it like a lot more exciting. Even though we did lose, kind of sucked, but it was still like a really cool experience. Yeah, my parents are super supportive. I mean, even just like after a couple months in, you know, they were really supportive, especially since I was making money and they kind of knew. Yeah, I mean, it was just like really exciting for them after a while. You know, they got to see me on stage and like, I got to go to New York or I got to go to Germany and all that stuff. And so after they kind of saw what was going on, they were just really supportive. My dad has come out to like a few, you know, games. Um, they live not super close by, but yeah, I mean, my brothers have come out. I don't think my mom has come out yet, but she always watches the games or she actually just watches the interviews a lot. She's really into watching the interviews, so she'll probably watch this one too. <laughs> Like most players, we want to play for as long as possible. And I do have to think about my long-term goals a lot. Truthfully, I don't really know exactly what I'm going to be doing. I think I find myself like motivated to be a coach or feel like I can do something like that. For the most part, I'm just trying to make enough money where I feel comfortable because I know my new next job is not going to make nearly as much money. So that's my goal. <laughs> is that a good goal? <laughs>